Welcome back to 5-Minute Bible Study. This one's a bit of a kick in the face if the others weren't, so bear yourself and get ready. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, Matthew 5, 43 to 48. You have heard that it was said, love your enemy and hate your... Love your neighbor. Sorry, you've heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. He causes his Son to rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteousness. unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your brothers, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Here we go. So, the standard in the past has always been love your friends, love the ones who love you in return, and hate anyone who is against you or doesn't love you. This was the rule, and it made sense. When you listen to it, it still makes sense. But Jesus says, Making sense is no longer the criteria anymore. I'm not concerned about things making sense. I want you to do what doesn't make sense. And loving the ones against you, loving your enemies, the ones who don't want your good, they actually want your bad, the ones who don't love you, love these ones. And it sounds absurd and it doesn't make sense. And that's true. It is absurd and it doesn't make sense. But that's what makes God different. And don't just stop there. When you aren't in their presence, he wants us to pray for them, to continue praying for them. Even in your spare time, love them by praying for them, even though they may make your life miserable and hard. Do this because this is what God would do. This is exactly how God operates. Even regarding me, this is how he operated with me because I was his enemy. And if he had done it the way it was the old way, I wouldn't have received any love because I was his enemy. I wouldn't have received any blessing, any forgiveness, any mercy and grace because I was his enemy. But he chose to love his enemy, to love me. Even while making his existence hard and miserable, he loved me. To be God's child, you have to be like your father. And he gives both good and bad things to both good and bad people. He doesn't discriminate what he gives to who. Everybody gets the same. How hard is it to love people who are good to you? Well, that's easy. It's a no-brainer. There, It takes no effort whatsoever. It doesn't require a higher power. It doesn't require you looking to God and asking for God for strength because anybody can love who loves them and who's kind to them. Even the people that I hate do that. The people who make my life miserable love the people who love them. The ones who hurt us love those who are good to them. If that's what we do, we are no different from our own enemy. And Jesus says, I want you to be different, to be perfect like God. And he loves everyone, even me, who was his enemy, who hurt him. He loved me and pursued me, no, no matter how many punches I threw or throw in his direction. So now you go do the same. Another really hard ask, but also another really amazing picture of how our God loves us.